Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad, and today I'm going to show you guys how to hunt rabbits on public land, otherwise known as state land. Now before I go over any tips, the most important tip I want to talk to you guys about is the Hunt Stand app. Now it's an amazing app, it's actually free, and you get 10 free parcels every single month that you get to look up and see who owns it. That is very important for hunting state land. You don't ever want to trespass on someone else's property. And like I said, it's free app. You don't have to pay for it monthly. You can if you want unlimited parcels, but 10 a month is perfect. You really don't want to even go over that for 10 a month hunting state land. You kind of want to learn the basics of the areas that you're hunting. The Hunt Stand app also lets you put down markers on your location, whether it be a water source, a food source, whether it be you seen deer there or rabbits there. It's a really good app for locating all your different kind of animals. The benefit of this app is it actually works without service too. So if you're ever lost in the woods, you can actually just put it on your phone and you have no service in a new hunting area, it'll take you right back to your vehicle. When you're rabbit hunting on state land, it makes it a lot more efficient when you only narrow it down to a few locations that you actually hunt for rabbits. So whenever you're going out for other targets too, always keep your eye out for the tracks so you know where rabbits generally are. First off, I'm gonna go over what gun I'm using. I'm using my Mossberg 500. It's a typical 12 gauge shotgun and I'll be using Federal Ammo, the two and three quarter size, just a target load. It's supposed to snow at least 10 to 11 inches just today alone and that will give you a great opportunity in order to track rabbits. Some tips for rabbit hunting. It's pretty simple and really easy to do once you know what you're doing. But first off, like I mentioned, you always want to go kind of after a first snow. It makes tracking so much easier, especially if you don't have dogs. It's a really good way in order to find the rabbits. So basically, if you don't have dogs, what you're going to do is you're going to pretty much walk a trail. And if you see some tracks going off of it, you can go and check. Since we're going tomorrow, right after first snow, it's only going to be fresh tracks, which is really important when you're trying to locate rabbits. You want to go to the freshest tracks as possible so you know where their population generally is. Tomorrow, we're planning on getting out there at first light, but if it doesn't happen, as long as we get out around 8 o'clock, we can pretty much guarantee no one else is going to go there. A lot of the time, state land isn't hunted as much as a lot of people think. Getting to your rabbit hunting location early is definitely key in finding rabbits because it allows other people to not scare away your potential rabbit. Now, a good tip I have is you don't always want to just focus on brush piles sometimes if it's sunny after a sunlight you can actually just see rabbits just right on the trail just chilling like hey guys I'm just chilling right here and I've seen it a ton even after going out hunting going out checking brush piles I've gone back to walk back to my truck and I've seen a rabbit on the trail before so you always want to keep your eyes open until you get back to your vehicle so for rabbits, they love lots and lots of structure. They don't always have to be in brush piles. Sometimes it's just the weeds overlapping will get pushed down just enough to kind of burrow themselves in and the snow will cover over top. But other than just weeds, sometimes they like to be right underneath trees where there's falling down limbs, there's a, just a bunch of brush, a bunch of tree branches everywhere. It really protects them against predators and it keeps them warm out of the snow. In order to scare the rabbit out, all you gotta do is a simple kick, just kick to the brush pile or just knock on it a little bit and sometimes they'll just take right on off. Now once you scare the rabbit out, you only have a potential of maybe a couple seconds at max. They're really fast animals and they like to zoom back and forth. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your gun, let's say the rabbit's right here. So you're gonna wanna take your gun and move it to the right more or to the left. A lot of the times I've seen that the rabbits run to the right. I don't know why, but it always seems like they do. So you always want to aim ahead of your target. So if it's running that way to the right, you want to aim a little bit that way and a little bit more to the right. Because when you pull the trigger, it's going to be moving so quick. By the time you shoot, it'll be coming right across to it. But one thing you want to look for is you want to look for kind of like air pockets that can leak out of the snow. So if there's a pile and there's a couple of like holes in the snow, that could potentially be from an animal breathing. You know, we breathe warm air out so it could potentially melt the snow. So you definitely wanna check those areas. The other areas you wanna check is obviously if tracks lead right into a brush pile and they have no exiting trails, you definitely wanna check that because odds are there's probably a rabbit or two in there. So rabbit tracks, they're pretty simple to tell in the snow. Basically, there are two dots in the front and one dot in the back. They're only about that far apart. Compared to a squirrel, they're gonna have four. The squirrels are gonna have the two hind and the two front. 
where, like I said, the rabbit, just the two front and then the one in the middle behind. Now, the great thing about hunting rabbits is sometimes you might see them across your trail that they just randomly run across, or you might see them on the trail. But generally, you could actually be chit-chatting with your buddies a whole lot. Be like, oh, look, this brush pile over here looks really awesome. It looks like there could be something underneath it. Let's go check it out. And generally, it'll work really good for you. However, sometimes you get those crazy instances where they just run right across from you, and you got that quick two seconds to make your shot. And that's basically all the basics you need to know about rabbit hunting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go set my alarm clock so I don't forget to wake up early in the morning and we'll see how we do. Two and one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to follow this one real quick? These are good. These are fresh today. That's why I wanted to come today. I told you this is the spot. People never hunt. They think state line sucks. It's just you got to go on the right days. This is a really good spot. I, down there to see like where they went and they're actually rabbit tracks. Yeah. Makes sense. There might be something in here. There's those holes. The whole breathing holes, like that heat. Yeah. You wanna try it? You wanna kick it or you want me to? That's so awesome. guys can tell rabbit hunting can be a lot of fun these guys are really furry this is actually my first rabbit I ever got I've seen plenty before while hunting and I've known how to do it for a while but this was my first successful hunt for them so with that said I'm gonna take this rabbit to the taxidermist so I can always have it in my room for the memory all right guys I really hope you enjoyed watching this video if it helped you out I'd really appreciate you giving a like comment and subscribe have a great day guys